In the annals of Hollywood's golden era, Randolph Scott stands as a timeless symbol of the film industry. His enduring qualities, etched in the reels of classic cinema, have solidified his place as an everlasting icon. What is it about Randolph Scott that transcends the temporal boundaries of Hollywood glamour? It's a question that leads us down the path of exploration into the career and persona of this stalwart actor. Cherished memories associated with Randolph Scott are not mere anecdotes. They are fragments of a collective experience with a man who left an indelible mark on the silver screen. Whether it's the rugged heroism of his Western roles or the understated charm of his characters, Scott's performances have woven themselves into the fabric of cinematic nostalgia. As we delve into the realm of Randolph Scott's legacy, we invite you to share your most cherished memories or personal experiences connected to this classic Hollywood actor. Your stories, perhaps reflections on a particular film or an encounter with his work, enrich the tapestry of our appreciation for the cinematic contributions of Randolph Scott. We would love to hear your anecdotes and reflections in the comments below. And now, let's set the stage for some random facts about Randolph Scott. Did you know that before becoming an iconic Western star, Scott began his career as a contract player with Paramount in the 1930s? This intriguing tidbit is just the beginning of unraveling the layers that make Randolph Scott a fascinating figure in the history of Hollywood. Share your memories, explore the legacy, and let's embark on this cinematic journey together. Randolph Scott, the epitome of Hollywood's golden age, was more than just a dashing leading man with a chiseled jawline and steely gaze. Born on January 23, 1898, in Orange County, Virginia, George Randolph Scott transcended the confines of conventional Hollywood stardom to become a symbol of rugged masculinity and enduring talent. Scott's journey into the world of entertainment was not a direct one. Before gracing the silver screen, he initially pursued a career in professional sports, excelling as a star athlete at Georgia Institute of Technology. However, a twist of fate led him to the realm of acting where he quickly carved a niche for himself with his tall stature and charismatic presence. What sets Randolph Scott apart from his peers is the versatility he displayed throughout his career, seamlessly transitioning from romantic dramas to gritty westerns. His breakthrough came with the 1932 film Heritage of the Desert, marking the beginning of a cinematic journey that would span over six decades. While Scott achieved widespread recognition for his roles in classic westerns like Ride the High Country and The Tall T, few are aware of his behind-the-scenes contributions. In the 1950s, he established his production company, Ranone Pictures, alongside Harry Joe Brown. This move not only showcased his entrepreneurial spirit, but also empowered him to take creative control over his projects. Despite facing the ever-changing landscape of Hollywood, Scott remained a bankable star, often collaborating with legendary directors such as Bud Bodicher and Sam Peckinpah. His dedication to authenticity in Westerns earned him respect, and his portrayal of stoic, morally upright characters endeared him to audiences around the world. Off-screen, Randolph Scott's life was as intriguing as any script he brought to life. Known for his camaraderie with fellow actors like Cary Grant, he was the epitome of old-school Hollywood charm. Yet, he was fiercely private, avoiding the spotlight of scandal and maintaining an air of mystery that added to his allure. In 1962, after a prolific career that spanned over 60 films, Randolph Scott retired from acting, leaving an indelible mark on the silver screen. His influence on the Western genre is immeasurable, and his legacy continues to inspire actors and filmmakers to this day. Randolph Scott's journey is a testament to the enduring power of talent, resilience, and the ability to reinvent oneself in the ever-evolving world of entertainment. His life story is a captivating blend of athleticism, artistic exploration, and a commitment to maintaining integrity in an industry often defined by its successes. In the pantheon of Hollywood legends, Randolph Scott stands tall, not just as a charismatic leading man, but as a symbol of timeless grace and authenticity. His films are not mere relics of a bygone era. They are windows into a world where honor, courage, and the pursuit of excellence were virtues worth celebrating. So, the next time you find yourself immersed in a classic Western or captivated by the rugged hero on screen, remember the man behind the character, the incomparable Randolph Scott. Randolph Scott's departure from the silver screen in 1962 marked the end of a remarkable career that spanned over 60 films. 
retiring at the age of 64 after starring in Sam Peckinpah's western ride The High Country. Scott openly declared his disinterest in movie acting. This decision showcased his unwavering commitment to authenticity, a trait that defined his on-screen persona. One of Scott's enduring contributions lies in his iconic portrayal of upright sheriffs and cowboys in westerns, a representation so powerful that it received homage in Mel Brooks' classic comedy Blazing Saddles. In a pivotal scene, when the townspeople hesitate to support the African-American sheriff in the fight against villains, invoking the name Randolph Scott becomes the catalyst for a humorous and unanimous change of heart. Beyond his on-screen achievements, Scott's influence extended behind the scenes. In 1929, he played a pivotal role off-camera, coaching Gary Cooper on speaking with a Virginia accent for the Virginian. This lesser-known facet of Scott's career highlights his versatility and willingness to contribute beyond his own performances. In summary, Randolph Scott's departure from acting, his enduring influence in the Western genre, and his role as a coach to fellow actors like Gary Cooper collectively showcase a multifaceted career that transcended the typical Hollywood narrative. These aspects underscore Scott's impact on and off the screen, solidifying his status as a Hollywood legend. Randolph Scott's influence extended far beyond the silver screen. In an unexpected turn, he was poised to reunite with his friend Cary Grant for the film Spawn of the North. However, salacious rumors circulating about the two led Paramount to replace them with Henry Fonda and George Raft. Undeterred, Scott chose not to renew his contract with Paramount and made a strategic move to Fox. Away from the cameras, Scott's impact was felt in unexpected places. The Statler brothers paid homage to him in their 1973 country hit, Whatever Happened to Randolph Scott. The song, inspired by Scott's departure from Hollywood, resonated with audiences and became a top 20 hit. It encapsulated the curiosity surrounding Scott's exit and the nostalgia for a bygone era of cinema. Additionally, it's intriguing to note that Margaret Mitchell, the author of Gone with the Wind, had a specific actor in mind for the role of Ashley Wilkes in the film adaptation. That actor was Randolph Scott. While the role ultimately went to Leslie Howard, Mitchell's choice of Scott speaks volumes about the esteem in which he was held within the industry. These lesser-known facets of Randolph Scott's career shed light on the complexity of his Hollywood journey. From thwarted collaborations and musical tributes to unfulfilled casting choices, Scott's legacy extends beyond the westerns and dramas he graced the screen with, leaving an indelible mark on the fabric of Hollywood history. As we bid adieu to this captivating journey through the cinematic realms of actor Randolph Scott, let the curtain fall not on mere celluloid, but on the tapestry of memories woven by each subtle nuance of his performances. A maestro in the art of bringing characters to life, Scott's legacy resonates not just on screen, but in the very fabric of our personal narratives. As the credits roll, take a moment to reflect on the indelible mark left by Randolph Scott's portrayals. Did his rugged resilience in the face of adversity strike a chord with your own battles? Or perhaps, his stoic charm transported you to a bygone era, sparking nostalgia for the golden days of cinema. Whatever the connection, these are the threads that bind us to the magic of storytelling. In the quietude that follows the final frame, we invite you to share your cherished recollections and musings. Unearth those memories buried in the recesses of time and let them dance in the spotlight. Whether it's the echo of a poignant line, the intensity of a scene, or the subtle grace in his every gesture, let the world glimpse the mosaic of Randolph Scott that lives within you. As we traverse the corridors of retrospection, let us collectively celebrate the impact of this luminary on the vast tapestry of entertainment. A titan whose influence extends far beyond the screen, Randolph Scott's legacy is a testament to the enduring power of storytelling. We express our deepest gratitude for your time, an interest in the shared exploration of a cinematic luminary. Your thoughts, memories, and reflections are the threads that weave a richer narrative around the legacy of Randolph Scott. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time and celluloid, and for contributing to the collective tapestry of appreciation for an actor whose brilliance knows no bounds.